Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. First things first, I do hope you have your beverage of choice, coffee, tea, juice, water, or whatever you have with you, because this video is going to be a long one, and it's going to be the one where I talk about the things that I got from the Paper Convention PH 2023 event. Also wanted to show some of the products I got to be a part of and help conceptualize also, I am a co-organizer of this event, so obviously I have to flex some of the products that I personally love and also some of the stickers I got to uh, purchase, as well as some gifts from fellow small biz owners and friends from the community. So sit back, relax, and I do hope you enjoy this very chatty video. I'm going to give it a disclaimer and say that some of the products here are from the Philippines, so I will try my best to find ways where you can get them elsewhere, but all the shoppy links will be down below, websites, um, direct links to where you can get some of these items, and let's get started. First things first is this one. This is the passport from the event, so the first like 1200 or 1400 uh, ticket holders get a passport and this passport is meant to be filled up and it contains some prompts and pages for you to stamp on and write out some of the things that you got from the event. We wanted to have this because Coco, one of our organizers, proposed this idea and it was genius because everyone had something to do at the event and everyone really went around. It was so lovely to see the stamps and a lot of the shop and booths had their own stamps or stickers so you can ask them um, to have it stamped on your pages and there's also a full-blown makers directory we had over a hundred makers join us for this special event and we handpicked everyone because we wanted to make sure that it was well curated for the shoppers as well so this was designed by natasha of paper diet who worked with us on a couple of paper society ph projects it is gorgeous and it's really great another thing i wanted to include is this pennant so this pennant was a random idea that we wanted to have but it felt so like college vibes so it's now hung on my wall and it was also something that we sold at the merch booth and it just says paper society ph the next thing that we also created is the paper book volume 3 and the quarterly planner so in 2020 we actually created the first volume of the paper book because 2019 was our first ever event and 2020 we all know what happened so we decided to pull together artists and makers and create this paper book full of collage cutouts of uh, stationery and also primarily stickers and things that you can use for your own journals and just documenting in general. This year, we picked a handful of artists and wanted to focus on the theme everyday documenting. So these are stickers and every artist is credited on the bottom part of the page. And you will see that for the first part and the last part, there are some Ooh, collages sounds looks familiar so the collages and vintage -y designs are for me and the fun prints and the stamp ones obviously are from Christine of everyday explorers co so we usually do the upper hand work of um, designing the patterns and pages and photos that go in the first part and the last part of the paper book. So this is volume 3. It looks great with the orange spine and it's very handy. So it has a bunch of stickers that you can use for everyday journaling. We also created this planner because we wanted to address the need of having to have a planner for every single thing that you want. So instead of having a really thick one we created the daily weekly monthly quarterly planner which is this one i personally love this i think i used this for a bit during the last quarter of 2021 because what this is is the first one was actually red and then now it's green this one basically has 
a, a monthly view like so and then it has a weekly vertical view and after the weekly vertical you get one day per page so this is a good space for you to brainstorm and come out with different ideas and if you're the type who likes to write long form and need like a space to house all of your ideas this is the perfect um, planner for you and it's it's good for one quarter so if you don't want to continue on or if you live life through quarters, which is what I do most of the time, it's great for that as well. The paper is fountain pen friendly and it's dot grid and it's really smooth. It's from one of our partners, Fedrigoni Papers. And also at the back, there are some stickers that you can use because it's undated. You can use these as numbers to stick on the monthly, the weekly, or whatever you see fit. So it's really pretty and it's very handy and it's also quite thick. So it's great for, you know, it's very sturdy and it's great for your planning needs. Also, we created a cover to be this plain so you can pretty much decorate it. That's the goal. Not to toot my own horn, but I'm very proud of these two products. So these are my new releases for 2023 and they'll be available probably when I put up this video. It's probably available at my stockists worldwide. But the first thing I wanted to share with you on the left side, this is a sticker book. If you're not familiar with what a sticker book looks like or what it is, it's basically sticker sheets inside a book. So I created Adventure Awaits because I wanted to have a bunch of stickers I could use for traveling and I wanted to be pocket size and I wanted it to be in one book. And I've been dreaming of making my sticker book for years now because I've been contri I've contributed to a sticker book sometime 2016 and then I also did another one in 2020. So it was high time to finally like jump on it and do it. I was just too nervous because of the cutting and also the production costs and everything but it turned out really great as you can see here. This is my hand for scale and yeah my nails match the spine. So this is a B6 slim size and every page is obviously die cut and great for journaling and so I created a bunch of different things that I feel would be useful for travel journaling in general. So here are a couple of pages that you will find and it's a mixed bag of clutch elements, of words, of days of the week and I always factor this in because when I travel I only specifically use a couple of stickers that I feel would be useful. So. I also put in some of the key places I love and then, you know, basic things that I do when I travel. There's coffee, you know, fall season, film photography. Speaking of film photography, the last two pages are great because they're clear, clear stickers and you can use them as like frames. I mean, that was the whole intention behind it. So these slides, you can collage and layer them in and I really like how they turned out. So they are pretty nifty and really, um, really, really proud of this product. Next one, which is obviously what's catching your eye right now, are these PET tapes that I designed. So they come in three designs. So this is the autumn themed. Obviously, I wanted to come up with an autumn one because I love autumn and it's my favorite season. And actually designing these collages from last year, uh, push me to create PT tapes from it. I remember Suna of Kiroko was like, you have to make PT tapes from that. Suna and Job were like, you have to. So that's this one, this autumn themed. And then the next one is Journey. I wanted something travel themed and I wanted to play around with something that's not the usual color scheme I go for. So this one focuses on planes and trips and documentation so there are photos of me traveling to dc and then this one is in japan and some of my journal pages these are old illustrations that i put together honestly creating these products are is a way for me to kind of exercise my creative energy and see what else i can find from my own archive so it was a pleasure to be able to do that and then lastly we have coffee and journals because i couldn't decide on either or so I felt like it sort of resembles the cafe journaling theme I don't remember which one was the best seller at the event but 
all of them sold really fast and a lot of people were able to get their own rolls also highly suggest like getting a roll or two and then sharing it with your friends so that way you can use it and also split the costs so these ones are for the coffee and journals one personally my favorite because of the color scheme and i really like how they turned out i was really nervous because this was my first time making pet tapes but they turned out really great so i really love them and i hope you like them too Next up, we have products from Everyday Explorers Co. made by my biz bestie, Christine. So this adventure of creating, of her creating this sticker book and my sticker book, they're kind of like best friends at the moment. So this one, the sticker book that she created and mine, we were both like in, in like purgatory dealing with it because of the cuts, the misprints, and possible mishaps. Also, funny story is our washi tapes were also on the same boat. Like, our tapes were stuck in customs for a month. So I feel like it's such a full circle moment seeing everyone together and like, the products are done and they made it in time for the event. But when Christine told me about this idea, I was like super hyped. I'm like, yes, make that make that sticker book so this is a 365 days calendar stickers all the stickers for all the days and it's basically all the days and i love it because i have been thinking of a way to journal daily and not um put myself in a box where it's like you have a journal where it's like fully dated so this being in sticker form is a great way to for me to exercise that so it comes in obviously 12 pages and it has all the days and it's great because it's just a nice way to document your days and i'm so 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 excited to use this in 2024 fun fact my mom actually bought one for herself because she saw this she's like april 21 best day ever i'm getting that because my mom and christine have the same birthday which is really funny to me but yeah one sticker for every day of the year it's super handy i also love the texture of it and i love the feel that it looks like an actual calendar so i'm really really excited to use this apart from that i also um got washi so these were all gifted by christine so we did a full trade of our new products so i've been um looking forward to have her postage stamp um i guess that's what you call it right postage stamp washi which is what you'll see here i decided to get the let's go because obviously i love travel and it turned out really great look at this perforation it's really nice my favorite has to be that let's go one. And then I also got, um, I also chose this one because I like the word documented. I feel like it's growing on me a lot. Um, I use it for my zines. I talk about it a lot. I talk about journaling as documented, documenting because I just don't journal. I also do other things that sort of entail the idea of documentation. Definitely gonna stick this on my passport because it's empty. But, um, these ones are prompts, and I feel like they're great for everyday journaling, which I'm really excited about. And I was like, oh, I have to get this because there's a fountain pen icon. So this is what it looks like. It's really nice and good for everyday journaling, I feel. And apart from that, uh, Christine also gave me a sampler set, which is funny because I also gave her a sampler set. And I love these because they're also the prompts one. So the prompts, I usually use the clear stickers that she has, but also there were a lot of different themes. This is like um, travel, like outdoors, and then this one is um, bookish prompts, and also some current these and some different prompts that you can use for journaling. So I really love Everyday Explorers Co. products. I, I always say this because um, the way that Christine conceptualizes her products really um, helps whoever gets the product to kind of think about how how of how they can document their days more and what they can use as like a tool to make that happen and make that possible so this is my mini haul from everyday explorers co next up we have these 
stickers and tiny things that I bought and got so starting off with this pile over here these are from Pam of PL Creates so she gave me a couple of things I have been buying from her shop way way back during our Lazada days we had a big marketplace in 2021 I think this is my favorite it's from director Greta Gerwig from Barbie and then there are also a bunch of fun things like this yikes sticker which is a total mood I also love the finish of some of the stickers they're a bit glittery and they have certain patterns I, I asked her I was like um Pam what what is this and she's like oh it's a duck spot I'm like oh I thought it was an egg that's just me that's just me chaotic me um and yeah she also has this duck sticker which I really love is this a duck or a goose I keep getting confused I think this is a goose but um these are from Pam of PL Creates Next is I was able to visit and meet Mia. Mia and Lara are two of the lovely humans I got to work with for ABC Art Club during the pandemic. So you'd probably have seen her graphics on some of my um, art club posts back then. We used to run this art club account on Instagram. It's always be creating the art. Um, I managed to snag a couple of stickers from her booth. I gave the other one to one of my friends. So I love Mia's um, color scheme and her mantras and her words. So I wanted to get this. I got this main character energy one because, you know, it's always pays to be main character energy. And I got this slow is okay. I just love the font, the lettering, and also the color scheme that was used here. And actually, I put her and me and Lara together when we were doing the booth. I'm like, they have to sit together. They have to, they have to, yeah. I think it would be a good like way to talk and like get to know each other because we used to be teammates. So these are from Lara. So I got Embrace the Season You Are In, Slow and Steady. One of the stickers called Breakthrough already stuck in my um, plastic case. And then I think I got this for free. It's super cute. It's a tiny, tiny cake. And I just got these um, flower stickers. I particularly love this one. And then this one is a loan sticker that I got from Kitty's booth because I ended up getting more of her prints, which I'll show you in a bit. So I really love the color scheme. Kitty has also been, we go way back, like 2014 level. She used to help me at Art Marts and now she has her own booth and she's a full-fledged designer. It's always nice to see her flourish and thrive in the creative industry. So I got this um, coffee sticker from her. And moving on here, new discovery. So Sid's face, their work is so cute. So I ended up getting this autumn garden deco sticker sheet. It's just so adorable. There are like tiny frogs and these are um, like really nice like accents I would say to my journal pages. So I'm like, okay, I'm getting it. And then I got a couple of um, Vinyl stickers. I feel like this is the overall mood. I'm fine. And then I got the flower one and I got a fearless sticker. So there were a lot of um, Taylor Swift stickers in Sid's, Sid's booth. And I was like, I'm getting fearless because it was the song that I performed on my 18th birthday. And I really love this song. I also got a print from Sid and it's displayed on my desk. So thank you so much to Sid for giving me a free print. Next is um, Natasha and I did a trade. I gave her my sticker book and she gave me these two because I was eyeing the soy sauce keychain for a bit and I'm like, it's so cute. So Natasha runs Paper Diet. Um, her products are like top notch. I also designed a Berlin themed washi tape for her advent calendar box last December 2022 this one is really cute this is a memo pad featuring konbini food and I appreciate the perforation honestly I gave some to a lot of friends I gave some to friends because they're really cute and really compact and I love the colorways look at that 
It's very much inspired by Japanese konbini. And then this on the go soy sauce is so cute. I'm like, I want to put my keys and use this for my, for my new place. So I ended up getting one as well because how can you not? It's too adorable. Next one is possibly the one that I bought the most from is Edward of Wall vs. Crayon. So I did not know about Wall vs. Crayon until Coco insisted I check it out. And she was like, when Coco fangirls over brands, she like goes all and she's like, we have to have um, Edward at PaperCon. I'm like, yeah, okay, we're gonna do that. And a lot of his designs remind me a lot of uh, Aaron Joplin, and I really, really love Aaron Joplin's work. I feel like it's probably the Futura font and the color scheme. So these are, let's go through each of them. This is Wander. I just love that it has like a re very retro feel, and it really works for my kind of preference with design. It's very well designed, that I will say. I also got If Not Now When... Obviously, I hoarded Fortune Favors the Bold. I feel like I would probably put some of these on my luggage or a, a case or something or my iPad case. I don't know. This one, he gave this to me for free. Thanks, Edward. This one, I feel like is very much... I 100% I, I like resonate with it. Success, success is not instant. Good vibes only. Pack lighter, go farther. Not sure about the pack light part, but you get the point. Um, I asked if these are this is like meant to be Philippines, which is yes, three stars, three stars and a sun. So I got extra, and I wanted to give it to my Pinoy friends in Berlin, who I'm really close to. This one just makes me so happy. Like, look at that. And then I finally got this one. I feel like it's a. It's something that I feel like it's very Pan Am, you know, like flights and stuff, and I love the color scheme. And also kind of gives off, I think it's meant to be the sun, so I also got this. Lastly, here on the bunch, I have been a huge fan of Studio Dondon for a while, and it's so lovely to meet him in person. So he gave me extra stickers! Thanks, Don. I also stuck one of them, it's a really cute like Charmander on my sticker insert i think so here are some stickers he gave to me i ended up getting i'm in a whole like i feel like i'm forever in a dog face i also love frogs but this capybara is like super cute L look at that look at this unibrow i mean that's that's adorable so this is a button pin probably gonna put it in one of my pouches and then also have this sticky note pad, the quality is great. I, I use this now for all of the notes I send my friends because, I mean, look at that mood. That's a mood. I, I really like it. <laughs> and I also love the color scheme. So here are some of the stickers I got and tiny things from the event. And more miscellaneous things. These are the prints I got from Kitty's booth. And I super love them. They have this like riso texture and they're quite compact. So I'm probably going to use them for my new desk setup. And I try to rotate a lot of the prints that I use. So I'm going to definitely add this in. Uh, these are a bunch of miscellaneous items as well as gifts. So it was hard for me to kind of like divide the items. And so hopefully this kind of makes sense. But... In non-stationary things, I bought this adorable crochet handmade um, sunflower from Dar of Dar Murillo Art. I believe his sister makes these and they're adorable and I saw it in this booth. I'm like, I'm getting one. He's like, yeah, it's totally, it's totally your vibe. I'm like, yeah, I love anything sunflower. So, so cute, so cute and it was so nice to meet Dar. So. Um, definitely going to put this in my new desk as well. So yeah, super random, non-paper buy, but very happy, very good vibes. Also wanted to thank Marielle of Marielle is the name. So she sent us a bunch of stuff and I can't believe these 
elements are hand painted um she wanted to thank us for having her over at paper convention so it's abby christine and coco and her art style is very very distinct and very pretty i'm gonna show you a couple of things that she sent us some bookmarks stickers i still have to disperse and divide these amongst ourselves and i super love the intricacy of her work as you can see here i also feel like these are mostly original characters which is great and then she also gave us a really nice notepad or like letter pad here so thank you so much to marielle really appreciate it in more gifts and random stuff that i got first is from asa of inky livy so asa gave me a washi tape it's so cute it says ang bakya mo nening and it's all bakya which is like shoes and it's so whimsical i super love the design i don't know if you can see it but there's like shoes and then there's a car random things under the shoe really cute um asa's work is known for her wittiness and she's like one of the well-respected artists here in the philippines i really love her work i love this it says i'm okay i'm really not but i will be yes it's a mood Go with the flow. Tuloy lang. Tuloy lang is keep going in Filipino. Find the switch and flip it. Get your shit together. Basically. Pretty much. Thank you so much, Asa. And then, uh, Jam. I finally met Jam of Paper Aika Shop. One of the washi tapes is actually already in my shelf. But she gave me a bunch of stuff. I'm so spoiled. Thanks so much, Jam. So she gave me her washi tapes. These are, if you're a book lover, I feel like you'd like her stuff. It's very cozy, gives off a very bookish vibe as well. Very academia, I would say. Vintage library, work from home girl, one more chapter, and bibliophile. So I'm going to show you some, um, a little peek of some of the stuff. And then she also gave me a bunch of her vinyl stickers. I remember buying from her like early 2021 or 2020 and I think I already finished my stash of most of the stickers I bought from her so I'm happy to have more. So here are some of the stickers. I think this is my personal favorite. It's gonna be me in autumn basically. And then um, you can do anything but first coffee. I also love this read all the books one. And she also gave me a bunch of sticker sheets. So Jam's work is known for her like characters and um, there's certain themes like this one is friends themed. This one is a bit more like whimsical um, storybook. This one reminds me of like just an artsy kid, like very Gen Z energy actually. Kid at heart. This one is very spring girl, spring energy. I also love this one. I feel like it's a very um, cozy and also homebody style, like garden energy. This one gives a bit more of a princess vibe. I do like that her outfit reminds me of a Filipino um, barotsaya kind of. Actually, we collaborated before on a scening box, which is like a locally local representation box and she designed a character with like filipino elements which was super super cute so thanks so much jam for this and then micah of eden street we weren't able to get her this year but she gave me a handful of stickers i always love her stickers they're very encouraging so this is eden street um her work is mostly centered around like mantras and um, little reminders permission slips um, and also like just some quotes and it's just nice to add to journal pages I feel because they're very encouraging and great for um, tough times and like some ways that you can recognize the good parts of your life 
Another thing that I didn't expect getting, which was crazy, this was from Jana of Crafts Delight. So I have a lot of her icon stickers and day stickers. I think I hoarded a lot before I left for Berlin. And she gave me this entire clear book of all of the icon stickers that she came up with. So if you're a planner girly, this is like highly recommend. I feel like this is my lifetime supply of that. I definitely want to incorporate this more in my Hobonichi weeks because they're a lot and they're great for markers and just icons because right now my weeks is pretty much full of text. I also think that the size pretty much feels fits any credit card or like calling card slot so it's so handy that it's in this like nifty clear book so thanks so much Jana for sending and handing me this gift. Last but not the least, I got some goodies from Iceland of Design Hatch. I finally met her in person. So she actually gave me this one. So thank you so much, Iceland. Feeling productive might change later. I love this because I always don't have to do list notepads and I actually need it. And then I also got this um, Bad Times edition just to remind myself of the trying times and that I will get out of that trying time period as we always do and then this is a notes and to do section I feel like I'm a notepad person I really like having small pieces of paper beside me apart from my planner so I also got this one I did get another sheet and I gave it to one of my friends. I like buying a lot of stuff and then giving some away. I don't know if that's a thing that I do. I feel like gift giving is just my love language. So this is my little gift slash miscellaneous pile. And one thing I wanted to also share, also wanted to say thanks to you. Jam, she gave me a really pretty tote bag and I found out that they do it in house. So I love the sleeve as well. So I love the strap as well. And she also gave me one of her mugs, which is massive. I'm gonna use this for my next um, evening tea, evening tea and journaling session. I love that it's big and roomy for a big cup of tea. That's what it looks like. It's massive. But here you go. So pretty. Thanks so much, Jam. Last but not least, I do want to share with you this pouch specifically. So. I collaborated with Badass Tote Girl and we did a second release at Paper Convention PH. From my end, it's sold out, but if you're still looking for the pouch, I don't know if after this recording it's still available, but make sure to check out Badass Tote Girl. They have really great products and they're made in the Philippines. And the owner, Reese, is one of my good friends and she's really dedicated in what she does. And her bags are very functional and pouches. She was a breeze to collaborate with, collaborate with. And obviously, we created this pouch for the main purpose of it being a journaling pouch where you can like put in pens, supplies. I already decorated mine with a lot of pins and all to like fully customize it to my liking as of now it just hosts it just has a lot of um, extra stationery that I have but definitely check it out and it was also released at the paper convention PH so I thought I'd mention it so that's it for this very lengthy haul if I happen to miss anyone I do hope I didn't um, apologies but thank you to everyone who gifted me some items and thank you to the lovely makers who I got to meet at the convention it was very hard to go around because I was also doing a lot of things in between but I do hope to meet you all soon make sure to also check out the paper society ph instagram and paper society ph paper book if you want to meet some of our local makers and check out the directory of these wonderful artists in the philippines i cannot stress how amazing they are and how talented they are so please please check them out thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in another video hopefully no more hauls for the later part of this year always be creating bye